Hey guys, Philly Miss here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to shiny hunt in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet via the Outbreak method. There's multiple ways, but I want to break down some more of the math behind it and why this game seems like it's so easy to get shinies. I think this is the easiest game to get shinies in all of Pokemon, other than maybe Pokemon Go. Like a mainline series game, it is extremely easy to get shinies. And you guys have probably seen this chart floating around here, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet shiny rates. And today, uh, I want to just read this for you guys and show you guys what all this means. I know the first time I saw it, I was a little bit overwhelmed. But here we go. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. So as you can see, the base shiny rate in this game is already 1 in 4,000. So that's already half of what it usually is in the other games. Uh, even in like Heart Gold, Soul Silver or whatever, uh, you need to get the shiny charm to get this base shiny rate. So the base rate is no longer 1 in 8,000. It is 1 in 4,000. And then you're going to see some other rates here. You're going to see Outbreak. Check this out. Remove this. And see here, you see the Outbreak 30 to 59 right here. Outbreak 30 to 59 and 60 plus. These Outbreaks that occur around the map, you'll see a little um, like Pokemon logo with a mystery sign. And if you've never seen a Pokemon, that's what it shows up as. If you've seen the Pokemon before, it'll show up as a specific Pokemon on the map. When you go there, there'll be like 70 or 80 Pokemon. You only need to take out 60 of them to get this increased rate. And then just right there, no shiny charm, no nothing. You can get a one in 1,365 rate at a shiny. And it's realistically more than this if you do the picnic method too, uh, because you're gonna see like 10 of a Pokemon float around, right? Let's say you're shiny hunting Pikachu. You're gonna see 10 Pikachus. And that means you have a one in 1,365, 10 times. So it's actually like about a 1 in 150, maybe 1 in a 130 chance to get a shiny, which is really, really good for shiny odds, right? And then every time you do the picnic trick, which I'm going to show you guys in the video, it's going to reset those 10 encounters and give you another 10 Pikachus to potentially be shiny of. So just right there, baseline, once you have the picnic unlocked and you have outbreaks, right, you can already shiny hunt very, very easily. And you can just almost guarantee a shiny, it feels like, within an hour or two. But then you can get the odds to be even better. Uh, later on, when you unlock five-star raids, it will unlock the Herbal Mystica stuff that you can put onto your sandwiches. I personally don't even do this yet, but um, if you make a sandwich with that, it instantly jumps your rate up to 1 in 1,024, which is really, really good, right? But this is hard to get this material. But if you can get this and you can get an outbreak going, you can get a 1 in 683, which are amazing odds because... It's not 1 in 683. Realistically, it is 1 in like 70. Because you're going to see 10 Pikachus, right? And you're going to constantly reset and see 10 Pikachu, 10 Pikachus. And then there's other sandwiches that increase the encounter rate of the Pokemon. It doesn't increase the shiny rate, right? The shiny rate is still the same. But instead of seeing 10 Pikachus, you might see 15. You might see 13, right? Which will um, artificially boost your shiny rate. And then if you've beaten the game and you've gotten every single Pokemon, there's 400 Pokemon in the Pokedex. If you acquired and caught every single one of them or have uh, owned them at one point, so you can trade with a friend, say your friend has the, the legendary but doesn't want to give it to you, he can trade it to you and you can trade it back. It counts as you owning it. Then you get the shiny charm, which cuts everything in half again. And maximum odds for a shiny are shiny charm with an Outbreak 60 and with the Herbal Mystica Sandwich Sparkling Power Level 3 and it'll give you a 1 in 500. And if you do that during an outbreak with the picnic resets, it's like 1 in 50. It is so easy to get. 1 in 50 picnics. You can do a picnic every like 30 seconds, and you can you can just get any shiny you want, it feels like, during an outbreak, right? There are other ways to get shinies. You can get one during a terror raid. I actually got lucky and got one of these last night, but these are locked at 1 in 4,000. Locked. You cannot increase the odds. The only way to increase the odds is by doing more terror raids, right? So there we go, you can do that. And then also there's the egg method for the people that like breeding. And it's interesting, you actually don't need, if you don't have the shiny charm and you don't wanna ever get the shiny charm, this is a very good method for you guys here. Cause without the shiny charm, the base rate, right, is one in 4,000. But if you do the Masuda method, which is breeding with a foreign Pokemon, with a domestic Pokemon, so like say a Japanese Ditto and like an American Foycoco, right? It automatically jumps your rate up to one in 600, which is amazing already. Right? But if you have the shiny charm and the Masuda method, it goes uh, all the way to 1 in 512 as well, to matching the wild encounters. But you have to understand, this, the wild encounter outbreak, um, is way higher chance because you're seeing 10 to 15 Pikachus, whereas every time you hatch an egg, you're seeing one Pokemon, right? So the best way to shine out in this game is to do outbreak 60s, 
and then if you have the shiny charm and other stuff do those as well if you don't i've been finding a lot of luck getting shinies i personally have seven shinies and all i've been doing is just the outbreak 60 all i've been doing here is the outbreak 60 and getting a one in 1300 and that's been doing really really well for me but let's cut to the video now where i show you guys the stuff in action drop a like subscribe if you guys enjoy the content yeah here's the febreze bottles here we go okay let's see look don't they look like little febreze bottles so this is gonna be a guide guys okay this is a guide on how to get a shiny from an outbreak fast number one you make the appropriate sandwich okay depending on your pokemon you make the sandwich we want a rock and poison type so we're gonna do rock or poison first that's number one step all right so here we go we will get our olive oil and egg sandwich bro <laughs> olive oh oh i dropped the box all right olive oil and egg sandwich did we mess it up a bit okay olive oil and egg place the bread on top good enough honestly good enough okay well if this is the best we got this is the best we got sorry let's check out our buffs I have, I have encounter, why do I have encounter power flying, guys? Why do I have encounter power flying? I thought I was supposed to get rock. Did I make the wrong sandwich? I missed the egg, really? Fuck. Okay, it turns out missing the egg does matter. Okay, this time we will not drop an egg. I, I didn't think dropping the egg actually mattered. But apparently dropping the egg does matter. Okay. Because it will change the encounter type. Do not drop a singular egg. All three need to be there. Okay. Here we go. That should be good. Encounter power rock. There we go. That's what we needed. Encounter power rock. Okay. Now that we have that, we should start being able to take out these little Febreze bottles. Here we go. We need to kill 60 of these. Here we go. And we gotta kill them in a row without killing anything else. So we're up to three now. There's four. Nice. 57. There you go. 58 right here. Are they spawning in the wall? 58? We'll get the other one too. 59 all right we're 59 just to be safe i like doing 62 just to be safe but 60 is enough 60 right there in case i count it wrong we're gonna do 62 61 62 in case you don't know pokemon will not auto battle shiny yep thankfully i did hear about that i'm not gonna test it though I really will not test it though, but there we go. We have 62. Now we check if there's a shiny. Okay, if there's no shiny, we're gonna go ahead and set up Picnic. And Picnic will reset all of our encounters. So if there's like 10 of them out and we Picnic, those 10 are gonna get reset and we have another chance to get a shiny from those 10. Hmm. All right, there's Picnic number four, I think. Already, you counting the Picnics? Let's go. Savings for pussies, bro. All right, I ain't a pussy. Hmm. Where's all my Where's all my Febreze bottles at? Yeah, how many shinies do you guys have? I have five. I'm about to have a full team of shinies. Here we go. Walk around in a circle. And just like that. You see that? You see that? How many picnics? I got that shit in like five picnics, baby. Let's go. Five picnics. We got it. All right. Woo. Easy peasy. Just like that. How long was that? Boom. And it's just that easy. I don't even have the shiny charm yet, bro. Uh, how do I change the name? I go in here, right? Change the name. We got Stu the Febreze bottle. <laughs> do 
Do I want to evolve it, guys? It turned into a big guy at, at thing. Should I? Can I call it for, for, uh, Stu the Febreze bottle? No, that's too long of a name. I'll just call it Stu. Look at that. Y'all struggling with shinies, bro? Y'all struggling with shinies? Bro, come on, bro. Shinies are mad easy to get, bro. That's all you got to do. Duke the guide. Duke the sandwich guide. And that also tells me how long it took. Dude, so that... Dude, I made the sandwich at the start, right? And I got the shiny within 17 minutes. Wow, they make it so easy, bro. They make it so easy in this game to get shinies. I got it in 17 minutes. I guess I did get a little bit lucky, huh? Damn, I've never had so many legit shinies in a Pokemon game before, by the way. Because I never shiny hunt. But it is actually really fun to shiny hunt, guys. It is really fun. Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. Everyone. Look at that. There's chances of the bottle caps. Oh, yeah, we need some of those, right? The bottle caps and shit. But we're getting nothing but one-star raids, bro. What the hell? I'm not trying to do a one-star raid. Maybe I'll, I'll do the online. Online, it might be a little bit easier to grind. I don't want to stream grinding, though. That doesn't sound fun, so I might call it here. Maybe we'll do one, and then I'll call it. Level four fairy. That seems good enough. Let's do it. Go to your map and look for shiny dens. Shiny dens? Those are Eevees, right, Ribbon? But how do I tell if they're high level or not? Want me to hit you up with some raids? Some level five raids? Hmm? They have to be Eevees to be to, to get it. Wait, what? I just got shiny, I think. Did I just get a shiny? Yo! I just got another shiny! I just got another shiny! Oh my god! Back to back, baby! Back to fucking back. Wait, we gotta we actually gotta beat this, bro. We gotta beat this, no joke, bro. We gotta beat this, no joke. Oh my god! Alright. We did it! Boom. This time it went perfectly. Why couldn't it be like that the first time? Why couldn't we be like that the first time, bro? Let's do it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Imagine I press don't catch. Oh, it's so beautiful. What do I want to catch it in? Let's catch it in a luxury ball. Look at him. Hmm. Why are you using cheer up moves any reason? Uh, Cause it's just better to attack. Wait, if others joined, they would have also had a shiny? Wait, really? Is it like that? Oh, that's why y'all wanted to join. Oh, I didn't know that, bro. I didn't know that. Okay, if, if I knew, you, why didn't y'all tell me it, it gives shiny to everyone, bro? I would have invited y'all if it's then. I thought y'all would just want to be cringe and be like, I will be your savior, Phil. Here, I'm coming to my level 100 and I will one-shot it. Oh, I didn't know that, bro. I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, my bad. Now I feel like a dick. 